I don't know how we're alive. Freshman Bruna Alaveda says she and her classmates witnessed their teacher get shot. For like 30 minutes, we were just like praying and crying and and then the police came and we just got out. Students and teachers barricaded themselves inside classrooms to take cover. We were in code red, we were locked down in the corner of the room. <laughs> Sophomore Nicole Healy describes the carnage she saw as SWAT members led them to safety. On the way from getting evacuated, you saw the, the at least like two dead bodies on the floor. There were tearful reunions as loved ones arrived on scene to make sure their children were okay. I certainly feel for the children that lost their lives and the parents of those children because I'm one of these parents and I'm certainly not in feeling so good right now. Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel. I'm absolutely sick to my stomach to see children who go to school armed with backpacks and pencils lose their lives. I ran as fast as I could and I made sure all my friends were around me. I just made sure we were all safe. Senior Hector Navarro escaped the gunfire through a field with a group of more than 50 students. He believes one of his friends is among the victims. It behaved very close to home. It's not easy. But I know together as a family, as a school, and as a whole, we can get through it. Manuel Bajorquez, CBS News, Parkland, Florida.